I got nothing on me. If you're looking for skooma, head on downstairs. Hold it. If you're going downstairs, you keep your weapons to yourself, or we'll be getting better acquainted. Ah, hello, Stormy. You look like you could use a drink. A stiff one, maybe. Nothing of yours. <laughs> Suit yourself. Come with me, I need another favor. So do I. Oh, good. We might be able to settle our debts a bit faster this time. I see you redecorated in the last few weeks. Yeah, we had to. Don't ask. Need something? I don't need to. I can smell it. So, an exchange of favors. What do you need, my dear? A plan. Advice, maybe. Really? It's a rare moment that you of all people don't trust your own instincts. How can I help? Seems to be happening more and more these days. Something happened. I'm still a little off balance. Gossip? Possibly. What have you heard from the Dark Brotherhood lately? Very little. That's probably for the best. Stormy, what is it? The last time you came to me with that face, you were about to ask me to turn you. Well, there's a new listener. Oh no. It isn't who you'd think. It's not Zaytest. No, thank Mafala. Oh, <gasps> good. Which raises one very important question. It's... Me, Dom. You? And I have my first real contract already. Ingrath, you haven't been in the Brotherhood in years. A decade, at least. Now you know why I'm off balance. I hesitate to ask, but what would you need my advice for? You don't need me to help you run a new Brotherhood, do you? No, I'll keep serving the Lady of Whispers without trying to wage war on Astrid. For now. I've already sent her a threat in the form of a necklace. Oh, do tell. The contractor gave me a necklace in order to pay for my service. I gave it to Astrid to remind her that there are higher powers than her ego at work in the Brotherhood. <laughs> So, I need your advice with the contract. Oh, is it someone you need tracked down? No, and I can't tell you any names. It's just been a while and I was never privy to the language used by the speakers. So you need a translator? Partially. Only with the second part. Something to do with... A high-ranking military officer meeting with his people, learning his plans, and... Yeah... Cryptic. I'm amazed. The ex-Thalmor needs help with a cryptic message. I can look into it for you. You sure Astrid won't beat you to the punch? I'm afraid she might. I did poke the wasp's nest, as it were. But that first bit... She'd be hard-pressed. So you are warring with her? If I am, I hope to avoid catching anyone up in the crossfire that doesn't need it. I can have someone keep an eye on your girl if you want. Thanks. Discreet, please. You're very welcome. That is, after all, my specialty. Now, I hate to compete with the Night Mother, but I do have a pair of contracts for you of a similar ilk. Well, it is my job, I suppose. Where am I going and who am I taking out? The Blackbriars. What's the punchline? There isn't one. Sibby has been threatening one of my little birds and I want him dead. Done. 
but if you tell me you want me to kill Maven, I'm going to refuse. Oh, gods no. She's far too connected for that. That would be potential suicide. So is every time I walk back into Castle Volkahar without Harkon's daughter. Fair point. The other one I need you to take out is Ingen. Ingen? The girl? Yes. Why? Well, anyone could just kill Sibby. But we need to let Maven know that she's not as invincible as she thinks she is. You just finished telling me that she was too connected to take down. Right now, yes. But if she panics, she might make a mistake and then all bets are off. So you want me to kill Ingen Blackbriar as a bluff? In a manner of speaking, I suppose. No. Really? Ingen hasn't done anything. I'm not going to kill her as a threat. That's not how threats work, and I doubt it would sway Maven anyway. Sibby, fine. But not the girl. I could always perform the Black Sacrament. I never should have told you. Probably not, no. I'm not going to kill her, Dom. You can't threaten me into it. That's not how the Brotherhood works. But you're not in the Dark Brotherhood, are you? You make your own rules now, listener. I'm still not going to kill her. She reminds you of Emily, doesn't she? <laughs> Black hair, blue eyes, sweet voice. Stop it. You still think about what you did to her, don't you? I shouldn't have told you. You bit her tongue out, Ingrath. And that was before I turned you. She used me to get at the sanctuary. Only Cicero and I are left. She deserved it. And yet you stand here arguing about why you can't take out a girl who reminds you so much of her. Clean, fast, and merciful. She doesn't- You still aren't over Emily, are you? Even after I'm there? Dominique! Alright. If you don't take care of Ingen, I will find someone who will. And they won't do it with your finesse. Shit. I knew you'd come around. Fine. I'll do it. But I'm considering Sibby in even exchange for your advice. I owe you, then? You owe me in ways you can't possibly fathom, Miss Gold. And if you ever try to use me like this, ever again... I won't. One of these days, you'll get over her, and I won't be able to use her against you anymore. Nobody will. <coughs> Consider that. I look forward to that day. We never can have a nice day in the rift, can we? Yes, I do seem to be having problems with spiders lately. And now I smell like them. Lovely. Now all I need is a troll. quarrel with you two. The lightning, on the other hand.
That is obnoxious. Friggin lives there. I'm considering risking running because this is obnoxious. I hope this clears up by morning. Dragonborn does not deserve to deal with this weather. She saved my life. Well, life. say I'm not a fan of this look. I hear a bear. Hello? Let's just get out of here, shall we? A hunter running from a bear. Are there actually any guards out? I don't see any. Keeping Riften safe. Mm -hmm. There aren't any at the gate either. What is going on? Not that I'm complaining. I am 
look at that. Maven Blackbriar. How can a humble servant of Talos help you today? A humble servant of Talos cannot help me today. I say that having just had my bacon saved by the Dragonborn. I wonder if, um, if Kinoa is a humble servant of Talos. What's this? I see. Mm, don't mind me, I'm just a random hunter. But now I know where the Black Briars live. Out of curiosity. <laughs> well. If I can get back up again, that makes my job infinitely easier. Interesting. Now, where is the jail in this God's Forsaken Town? I'd rather like to know who I'm killing and why. Hmm. Not here. The Temple of Mara. I can't see myself settling down anytime soon. Who would love something like me? Good evening. Wait, I know you. Do you? I'm sure you have me mistaken for someone. Do they know me here? I'm gonna need to look more official than that, I think. I'm not sure I have anything that would help. <laughs> well, I have a shield. Not entirely sure where I picked that up. But hey. Exactly official. Stay out of the Black Briar's business and you'll live longer. Yeah, I don't think living longer will be a problem with me. Hey. You aren't worth my time. Piss off. Suit yourself. I think I may have scared the poor man. Pass for a Nord. As if I do this. And even then, it's not a sure deal. Hey, you're not supposed to be down here. Official business only. Wait, I know you. You do not know me, sir. That's no mistake. You're a wanted man, and it's time to pay for your crimes. Look. 
I don't have time for this. Do you? You know what? You're not worth the hassle. Go. Be some other god's problem. Now then. What are you doing down here? I'm trying... ...to investigate a criminal. You'd let me in, right? After all, I'm not worth your time. Oh, my mistake then. Sorry, you can go on ahead. Thank you. You're a good man. You're a bastard is what you are. Now... Now I understand why he was twitchy. Interesting. You, uh... Let me out of here, damn it. I'm not a criminal. You can leave whenever you want. This is what happens to you when you speak your mind in this city. <laughs> I will keep that in mind. Interesting. Ah, that must be him. Pardon me. Wait, I know you. Yes, I'm investigating. Yes, you do know me. You must be Sibby. Have you come to gawk at me, or is this a social call? It happens to be a social call. In a manner of speaking. Tell me, how'd you get in here? The Blackbriars don't often jail one of their own. Look, we all have our flaws. Mine is that women can't get enough of me. Sure. So I had this little affair going on while I was betrothed to a beautiful girl named Sviddy. Well, she finds out and she tells her brother Wolfer that her brother attacks me with a knife. I mean, I had to defend myself. So you got arrested for his murder, I take it. Exactly. Now I have to stare at these bars for eight months. Can you believe it? I was about to let that wench marry into the richest family in Rifton, and this is how she repays me. I'd do anything to have that whore's head on a platter. All I need to know is where she is. Hmm. I could help you find her. Ah, that's the spirit. Find her and I promise you'll be well compensated. Alright. Any information about her whereabouts? She was a young woman. Buxom, with long flowing black hair. She used to sing the most lovely songs to me when we were courting. Never heard a voice so beautiful. All that talent will go to waste when I'm finished with her. Interesting. So I'm looking for a Bart, then. I will keep that in mind. So you're only serving eight months for murder. Yeah, Mother thought I should be taught a lesson for airing the family's dirty laundry in public. I mean, I've taken care of many people for her in the past. What in oblivion did she expect me to do? Ah, well, at least I have all the comforts of home during my stay. Well, except the touch of a woman, of course. Right. Maybe it must be quite the character to set you up like this. Tell me about your family. When speaking of the Blackbriars, only one thought should spring to mind. We are not to be trifled with. Of course not. Help us, you end up rich. Cross us, and you'll end up a memory. Is that enough information for you? Yes. Yes, it is. Thank you for your cooperation, Mr. Blackbriar. When I find that bitch, I'm gonna wring her little neck. I'm sure you will. 
I just want to know who Dominique's little bird is. I'll be back. A bard, huh? is not mere coincidence. Oh, great. This is one of the signs. The signs that Lady Mara is displeased with your constant My skill in battle reason. is unmatched. Put down your flag and spill with you. your vile liquid. Skill can and be embrace the teachings Look, of if I need a master of the arcane, I'll go to the College of Winterhold, no, no, okay? No, no. We talked about this. Need something? Kira, certainly we can come to some sort of an understanding. These people must be made aware of the chaos they've sown. Enough, Mara Maul. We've all heard of the dragons and their return. There's no need to use them as an excuse to harass our customers. Very well, Talon. I'll remove myself from this den of iniquity. As well, you probably I'm should. Kicking you out. Just keep the sermons at the temple and let us all sing in peace. Excuse me. If you've got the coin, you're welcome here. Otherwise, hit the road. I'm looking for a bard. That may sound strange, but... I'm just gonna look around, if that's alright. Come back and see us again. Will do. There doesn't appear to be a bard in here. Is that that guy? Yes, Saran? <coughs> huh. Oh, shit. What's your problem? Gods, everybody's staring at me. <sighs> well... That's why we have to be careful. Thank the gods for Dominique. Yeah, what's your problem? My problem is I'm looking for a bard and I can't find one. Although you match the description. What's your story? Yeah, what's your problem? Never mind. I know you. No, you certainly don't. Next most logical place would be... Probably Iristed. Ah, fog. Always with the fog. There we go. Hmm. That's a nice little place. Alright. Hmm. 
much better. It's actually kind of warm out. And I probably needed that. What I don't need is more Dawn God breathing down my neck. Which means I should probably stay off the road. Her name was Kinoa. Kinoa al -Mazim. Interesting. Information that I will keep to myself for now. Monique does not need to know. In fact, I'm sure we would all prefer if she didn't. Eh, it probably doesn't matter. Kinoa was right in that regard. I'm sure people know her name already. A title like the Dragonborn does tend to attract some attention, does it not? Not that I would know. She saved my life. Even knowing what I was. Black hair, blue eyes. I do seem to have a type, don't I? Oh dear. I am staying well out of their way. Don Guard did not engage. this yes. 
Come along, no more stops. We need to find our way to solitude. I'm very glad I didn't shoot you just now. Hmm. Yeah, stay off the road. I believe Iverstead would be the next logical place. Simply because nobody goes there. Or if nothing else, nobody stays there for long. Now I'm hearing and seeing things. Interesting. Let's not get distracted. Okay, what in the gods' names is going on? What's this? What am I hearing? That's not a natural sound. As far as I can hear, it doesn't have a source. something in the valley? I don't know. It's not an urn root. Maybe it just means I'm going in the right direction. Yeah, I'm pretty crazy myself.
It's following me. Oh. Oh, good. Where? Okay. I guess someone was trying to warn me about the dragon. Damn. Oh, that's an ugly one, too. But I'm going to leave it to its business. That's somebody else's job. Must have just been hearing things again. <laughs> God damn, Khajiit. All right, night's wasting. Yeah, I'm getting out of your way. So long as there aren't any Dawn Guard where I'm going, this should be fine. Oh. Ah, uh, well. Iristed was closer than I thought, apparently. See, my patron prince is being, um, snarky, shall we say. Yeah, if Dominique were to hide somebody, I would expect her to do it here. anything I can get you, just let me know. Oh, did you need something? Uh... Not yet. Excuse me. Pardon me, my lord. Would you care to hear me play my lute? Actually... I think I saw it again. That... Go. Excuse me. It was over... If you I fancy a bit of music, memory. let me know. I told you to keep away from there. See that you don't. I promise to keep you a safe. A pleasant journey, my lord. I'm not going to break my word. Excuse me. Um. I. Wait. I. Your name is Sviti, isn't it? No, I'm sorry. You must have me mistaken for someone else. I've never even heard that name before. It's all right. Dominique sent me. Please, I beg you. Don't tell Sibi where I am. He'll kill me. No. Sibi's been spreading lies about me. You must hear me out. No, quiet, I believe you. Tell me what really happened. 
Sibi and I were to be married. We were supposed to be happy together forever. Then I found that wretched poetry from Svana. When I confronted Sibi about it, he threatened to kill me. I was scared, so I told my brother Wulfur. He went to talk to Sibi for me and... and... Sibi killed him. My brother wasn't even armed. When I heard what Sibi did, I fled. And now you've found me, and you're going to tell him where I am. No, I'm not. What do you play? I play the lute. If you'd like to hear something, it only costs five gold. Really? Just five? I'd easily pay twice that to hear you play. That's so sweet of you. I'll tell you what. I'll play a special song just for you, for no charge at all. Uh, well, uh, it's not... I mean... Just... You don't have to. All right. You're pretty good. Dominique's little bird is. Good. 